Can you talk about uh, when you decided you would be able to play? Kind of take us through your week, uh, you know, the MRI and then not uh, practicing and then today. Well, very <clears throat> ever since the injury, I felt like I was going to be out. Um, but then uh, after the MRI, I got good news. Um, I've been with the trainer ever since after the MRI. The next day, very morning for the whole day. Um, so I've been, uh, been, been well taken care of. Uh, had a lot of treatment and things like that. So uh, coming to this game, I, I felt okay. I didn't feel the, <clears throat> I didn't feel 100%. And as um, soon as we started the game, it was kind of sluggish and kind of felt moving slow. Um, even my teammates were telling me that. But uh, uh, it got better as the game progressed. And um, uh, leg got looser. Uh, calf, calf muscle felt a little more comfortable. And, um, and um, we was playing well. So I just wanted to go out and just play as hard as I could for my team and my coach. Do you think you're a little uh, cautious at the beginning, or as far as the injury? And yeah, yeah, kind of. Um, I think it was kind of, it was still kind of uh, tight at the same time as, as well, because uh, I, I was I realized I wasn't moving as fast as I, I wanted to move, things like that. But um, I mean, I just want to go out there and play hard. At the end of the day, um, if I know out there, go out, I go out there and play hard, and I get injured, I will feel 50 percent at least good about playing hard. So. Um, I wasn't really as wasn't really as cautious as uh, you probably would think, but um, everything was fine. Kenny, what was what was the difference between the first half and the second half for you guys? It seems like you guys really exploded offensively in the second half. Was it something you guys changed, or just you just felt more comf uh, comfortable? No, I don't think we changed anything. We just ran everything else a little harder. You know, in the first half we was a little slow, no energy. We came out there and it was just walking through stuff. And the second half, we just came out, right on the floor, ran out of plays a little harder. What did the uh, coach say to you at halftime? Same thing, just just execute good. Go faster, try to set good screens, you know. Just do a little th uh, everything a little harder. Durant, you got hurt at North Carolina, was it right at the end of the game, like 45 se seconds left, is that right? Or? Yeah, it was about so, and it was less than a minute for sure. And you were dri uh, what, what happened, you were driving? And yeah, I drive, um, I don't know what happened, if he got blocked or I missed the leg or not, but I came down awkwardly on my left my left leg, and um, I guess like, it was like hyperextended or whatever, I'm not really sure, I'm not really training or not, but yeah, it, was, it, was, it looked pretty ugly when I um, ended up watching it the next day on, uh, on DVD. Grant, for you, I mean, not only the points, but also the rebounds, the assists. Did, did, once you got your leg going, did you just kind of press and, and say, that I really just got to, you know, forget about it and, and have a good game? Or? Yeah, that's, that's exactly how it kind of went on. Um, after I started feeling good, I, I stopped worrying about it. I stopped thinking about it, and I just went out there. I was playing, and it felt good. You know, was there a stretch in this game that and you felt, you know what, I'm just going to go with it? And, uh, like, early in the first half, you guys – Scored nine on answer at one point. Was that a, a key point in the game where you felt that you could have taken it, you know, to the next level? Um, it was when uh, I think we, we kept trading baskets, and um, our coach was very upset with us. And um, at the same time, kind of got us motivated. And um, I wanted to just step and make uh, key plays for my team. And um, I think as soon as we got out that huddle, I think uh, we scored. And then uh, I had got to steal right under the basket, and that's when I. From there, I just had to go. That steal, right? Right after yeah. that. <coughs> Talk about the importance of, of taking care of business today, getting the win, getting back in the win column. It was great. It's great to have a win. It's always great. Um, my coach always talk about about winning. Um, the, the W stands for. And what the, he, he explains what the W, the I, and the, N, and the N stands for, and that's what's important now. And that's all that's important right now is getting the win. It doesn't matter uh, who's playing well, who's not, and. Um, we just want to roll that day and have a good day with the win. Can you talk about the way Duran played, considering you know, he was banged up and stuff? Man, he played great. You know, I I was not even worried about that. I know Duran, when he get on the court, he's gonna give 100. percent I just felt like the team was just slow as a you know as a whole. I knew Duran would come. I knew that if he was playing, that he would give 100. percent So I was not even worried at all. And Kenny, uh, your night it seems like you got the ball in a lot of spots where you like to score. I think. Yeah, we worked about, uh, we worked on that yesterday a lot on <coughs> the middle and the zone shots and the corner shots. 
So I just think like my teammate did a good job of finding me and not just having me go with the chat. What uh, at, at this point, uh, this is for both of you. Uh, I guess Duran first. Uh, what are your are is is there any thoughts at this point as far as the NCAA or is that a goal or is that something you try and put out of your mind? Where is it in your minds? Um, <clears throat> of course, it's a goal and it's a dream, but we can't we can't uh, can't deal with the future unless we uh, take care of the present and. Today was the present. Today was what's important right now. We took care of business now. Our next game is Maryland, so that's what's important next. And when we take care of that, it's just, we take care of itself. So we just got to continue winning, continue playing together, continue playing well. Um, and just go out there and just do exactly what the coach said. I think we'll be fine. And um, I guess it'll be, like a, it'll be like a birthday present for us. So uh, I can't wait till my birthday. You think it can happen, though? Yeah, yeah. I definitely got another second birthday coming up, so I can't wait to that day. Okay. You? Yeah, I think it's a goal, but just like you said, it's what's important now. And uh, now we have Maryland, we have to prepare for them. They're a very good team, and we're going up there. We beat them in double overtime, man, so you know they're going to be ready. So that's all we're thinking about right now, man. On, on that steal, was, was there something that you saw earlier that said, that gave you that opportunity or, or took you off or was it just, hey, I'm in the right spot? Yeah, I kind of ended up in the right spot, just took a look and I seen that in my, the person that was taking out the ball wasn't really paying attention. He just like just stuck one foot out of bounds and just held the ball in one hand. So I just uh, just kind of gave it a quick look and he threw it. So I just went for it and kind of got a lucky steal. So Cause I know if, uh, if I didn't get it and I probably would have fouled or anything like that, that man Coach Hell over there would have been pretty upset. <laughs> Thanks, guys.